Welcome everyone. In this video, we will discuss support from AWS Firewall Manager for AWS Shield Advanced Automatic Application Layer Distributed Denial of Service Mitigation. This feature allows you to centrally deploy AWS Shield Advanced Automatic Application Layer DDoS protections across accounts within your organization using AWS Firewall Manager. AWS Shield Advanced Automatic Application Layer DDoS mitigations block application-focused DDoS attacks without the need for manual intervention. Shield Advanced compares current traffic patterns of your application against historic traffic baselines to detect changes that indicate a DDoS attack is underway. When application layer DDoS mitigations are enabled, Shield Advanced responds by creating, evaluating, and deploying custom AWS WAF rules to block the attack traffic. With this launch, security administrators for AWS Firewall Manager can now enable automatic Layer 7 DDoS protections across accounts using the Firewall Manager security policy for AWS Shield Advanced. AWS Firewall Manager is a security management service that acts as a central place for you to configure and deploy firewall rules across accounts and resources in your organization. With Firewall Manager, you can deploy and monitor rules for AWS WAF, AWS Shield Advanced, VPC Security Groups, AWS Network Firewall, and Amazon Route 53 Resolver DNS Firewall across your entire organization. Firewall Manager ensures that all firewall rules are consistently enforced, even as new accounts and resources are created. This feature allows you to deploy AWS Shield Advance in one location for all of your accounts in your organization. Prior to using this feature, you will need to go through these prerequisites. First, enable AWS Organizations, full feature to help Firewall Manager scope policies based on accounts or organizational units. Second, enable AWS Config on all accounts so that any non-compliant events or changes made by local accounts can be monitored by Firewall Manager. Third, enable AWS Resource Access Manager for AWS Network Firewall and DNS Firewall. Fourth, designate an account as the Firewall Manager Administrator. Now let's jump into the console for a brief demonstration. Here we are in the AWS console, and we've navigated to AWS Firewall Manager. So as you can see, these are the list of the prerequisites that we mentioned previously that you'll need to handle beforehand before getting started with AWS Firewall Manager. We've already taken care of this, so now we can get started with walking through creating a policy. Now under Policy Details, we're going to select AWS Shield Advance, and next we're going to select our desired region. For this demo, we are going to use the North Virginia region, and now select Next. For the second step, Describe Policy, there's three actions that we need to take. We need to give the policy a name, description, and set a policy action. For the sake of time, I've already given the policy a name and description, and then under Policy Action, we'll have to decide between just identifying resources that are not compliant with our policy, but not remediating or adding auto remediation to the resources that do not comply with the policy. For this demonstration, we are going to select auto remediate so that we won't have to take any extra actions after the resources that have been identified. Now we're going to select next. For step three, define policy scope, we're going to be able to select which accounts as well as resource types and resources the policy is going to apply to. So for this demonstration, we want to walk through what it'd be like to specify a specific organizational unit for the policy to apply to. So we're going to select the second option that states include only specified accounts and organizational units. Then under included organizational units, we'll select edit list. And we're going to select the dev organizational unit and select save. Next, under resource type, we're going to select application load balancer. And we're going to leave this option of include all resources that match the selected resource type because we want the ability for any application load balancer that is presently in our environment or will be created in the future to apply to this policy. But we also have the option to include only resources that have a specified tag or exclude resources with a tag as well. Now we're going to select next. And now we can review the policy to make sure that we have selected our desired choices and then select create policy. Once your policy has been created, you do have the opportunity to adjust the policy based on the needs of your organization. In the overview panel, you can adjust the policy name as well as the policy description. You're going to be able to see what accounts are within the policy scope as well as accounts that 
are outside of your policy scope. If you want to change which accounts apply to the policy, simply navigate to policy details and under policy scope, you can adjust the accounts that the policy applies to, resource type, as well as resources. You can also adjust the policy action and policy tags. If there is a current active incident, it will show up in the current incidents panel and you can contact the AWS DDoS response team for assistance. In this video, we discuss new support for AWS Shield Advanced Automatic Application Layer DDoS Mitigation through AWS Firewall Manager, allowing you to essentially deploy AWS Shield Advanced Automatic Application Layer DDoS protections across accounts in your organization. To learn more about AWS Firewall Manager, visit aws.amazon.com backwards slash firewall manager.